How's it going guys, Jackson here with PC Bros LLC and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the current Microsoft Office or Office 365. So one of the main benefits to Office 365 that I think a lot of people kind of miss is that it is pretty much all cloud based but you still can get the desktop application. So it pretty much comes with any install of Windows. So if you just type in Office like this, you can see Microsoft 365 parenthesis Office will pop up as an app. And then if you just open it, I'm actually already signed into an account. So you can see my account pops up there and it is a Microsoft email, but you can also actually use a, even a Gmail technically and sign in through Microsoft. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, I am going to actually sign out of this account. So this is what you'll get if you try to open Microsoft or any Word or anything like that, because it is mostly cloud-based now so i know a lot of people probably look at that as it being like a disadvantage but as long as you pay for the monthly or the full version you do get access to the offline word excel and powerpoint but the glory of it is as long as you sign into your account and as long as you pay for one account you can access your files anywhere and you can get a free version too you just don't get offline access so let's go ahead and sign in welcome to 365 it's probably going to ask us if we want some stuff um, it actually does give you a little uh, tutorial. Now, another advantage that you do get if you pay for the full version, rather than getting only five gigs of OneDrive access, which is basically a online flash drive, if you will, you can get a hundred, even a thousand gigs of online storage space where you can keep videos, pictures, movies, whatever. Um, but as you can see, with the 365, we get the full suite. So if I click on any of these applications, like let's say Word, it's actually going to launch inside of a internet browser because I do not have the paid version currently. I am going to pay for it in this video so you guys can see what it looks like, but I can see my actual documents here on the desktop. But if I click on one, it's going to open Word just like this. And you, like I said, this is free. I'm literally using the free version right now. Um, and you can save the file. So if I go here, I can save as and I can save online or I can actually save to my desktop. So that is the nice part is you still can save files locally um, through Excel, Word, PowerPoint. The only thing you literally can't do, and I'll show you is if you go back to home and then we do install apps, I have to actually pay for the premium version. So if I wanted to actually have like Word, PowerPoint Excel on my desktop, I would have to pay for it. And that is all the only downside and it's not expensive. You gotta remember people used to pay one to $200 for the full suite. Now it's about $6.99 per month. You can also pay per year, uh, which ends up being, I believe about $65 for a single user. But what's nice about the single user is it's a single account user. That means you can have one account, but it can go across all your devices if you want to. You can also pay for a family version, which means you could have multiple people signed in at once. It's up to six people. So you could treat it as family for small business too. Like here, for example, we only have four people. So we could pay nine bucks, nine ninety nine per month and get the massive OneDrive. We'd also get Excel, Word, PowerPoint. Obviously that's just free, but we could also download them to our desktop. And there's a few other features that are pretty cool that you're able to get. And I do have all this stuff written over here if you guys want to read any of this stuff. But it's definitely really nice. And another thing that's really cool, backwards compatibility. So if you have any Microsoft Word documents that are from 2010, 2004, it doesn't really matter. You should be able to open any of those documents with the desktop app or even the online version. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, let's just say you just created your Microsoft account. It's gonna look something like this, very generic. I don't normally, I'm more of a Google user personally, so I usually use Google Docs for all my stuff and Google Drive for my storage. I'm gonna go ahead and press buy. So as you can see, you can see multiple plans here. They also have a C business plans, but unless you have a huge business, I personally wouldn't do it. You do save up to 16%. So it's $70 for personal year or a hundred for family. I'm just gonna go to monthly. I'm gonna go buy now, all this out, but I'm just gonna use, uh, I'll just use my personal PayPal. Uh, we're gonna uncheck this cause I don't really wanna get any, you know, any emails um, suggesting newsletters and stuff like that. So we press subscribe using my personal PayPal. Let's see how long this takes, but it should be really straightforward. Um, you know, back in the day, it was a not too far off process. You go to Microsoft's website or you'd go in store, buy a CD, you download the apps, but then you do have to verify it with a key. Basically, instead of having a key now though, it's all online. That is the one downside. You can't really just get like a, one-time subscription unless you go to somewhere like gvg mall they do sell actual accounts since we don't have keys anymore i don't fully know how that works i honestly don't fully recommend it either it's cheap it's about 30 dollars for a 365 account but my guess is that 
it probably assigns you some random account name and password. That's at least my guess. You might be able to make one from scratch. I'm sure someone in the comment section could let us know how this works. But as you can see, welcome to 365. You're ready to make the most of your 365. One terabyte of cloud storage uh, for just $6.99 a month. So let's go ahead and close this out. And now let's see if we can go ahead and download any of the apps. All right, so now to be able to get the offline version, we're gonna go to install apps, which will just open your internet browser. And then we're going to the offline installer. So now we're gonna install that and that's, holy crap, four and a half gig. So as you can see, it's a pretty big file, four and a half gigs. And that basically is going to be all of the suite. So that should be um, your word processor, Excel, and PowerPoint presentation. So this is something that you will have to have an account for to be able to actually go to the download itself. It's not like you can just um, do that without an account because then you'd be downloading the full version without paying anything. So once this install, which is gonna take a few minutes, um, we should be able to open up Word and all the other good stuff. All right, so basically I'm able just to type in Word now and I can um, pin that to like my desktop or the start bar. And once I open it, I just have to accept the user agreement and then let's see, we're gonna not send that, don't personalize. And now we can actually go through and use Word just like normal. We're not even hooked up to the internet. Well, I just actually re-hooked up, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that if I disconnect, I can still use it. So if you're on the go on a laptop, whatever, and you can go through and save things uh, locally to this PC and everything. But the nice part is if you are hooked up to your internet, you can also save them in the exact same spot where if I type in office, I will be able to see whatever I have made on Word in here and I'll be able to see that anywhere. Even if I'm on the go, I can be on my laptop, my computer. As long as you're signed into your Microsoft account, you'll always be able to see what you have saved. And another thing that's really nice uh, before I wrap this video is it is really easy to um, you know disable the payment. So obviously you could go through PayPal and disable it there. You can switch plans here. You can also press uh, turn off reoccurring billing. So I'll basically just go ahead and um, turn that off just so I don't have to pay again unless I decide to keep using it. But hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. See you guys later.